Hello, Casey Casper here with DirtRider.com. Today we have something unique happening at Glen Helen Raceway. I get to ride this beautiful 2023 Kawasaki KX450SR, and we get to learn from the pros, Jason Anderson, Adam Cianstrello, who are prepping for the second half of the outdoor series. We'll do a little start practice, we'll go through the bike, see what makes it tick, sag, bars, levers, the importance of the uh, factory mechanics insight. Follow along. Finishing up here at Glen Helen Raceway. Very productive day with the crew. We made a few solid bike changes. Going a little bit softer on the front end, a little bit more sag on the back. Little changes go a long ways. It's amazing what uh, a couple extra sets of eyes and a few technicians will help with. Highlights on this bike compared to the standard KX450. Definitely the motor package. It's not only strong, but usable. We have some big hills out here at Glen Helen and this thing pulls second farther than stock, but you can also short shift to third and it makes it so much more usable. Between the exhaust, the head work, the ECU tune, it's as close to factory as you can get. We still have to dyno this bike and we'll definitely be sure to report the numbers back to you, but I can say it's definitely healthy advantage over stock in the KX450 engine department. Suspension, this isn't anything you can buy. It's coated, it's the premium stuff from Showa. From the leaflets engraved on the top caps to the anno everywhere, it's just so trick. Every little bit ties together. And that's the beauty of having Kawasaki do it for you with the SR platform. It's all blended together from them. You don't have to outsource any aftermarket parts. It's done. Extra clamps help an already amazing handling bike be that much more tunable from the adjustment on the offset for bar positions. Retaining the standard 23 offset, it works so good for a little bit more front end feel. DID chain and Renthal sprocket. Dunlop MX-33 tires. It's a solid package. The best part about being a factory Kawasaki rider for the day was definitely getting the pitboard treatment. Having a couple extra eyes on you when you're riding, 
holding you accountable for all the laps and then just seeing how big the spread is from a real pro like Anderson or Sincerella is to us, eight, 10 seconds a lap, and they just keep at it. We might have one or two sprint laps in us on this bike, as good as I felt, still doesn't hold a candle on these days. This thing is amazing to ride. It's the best production bike I've ridden and they're still on dealership floors. So if you wanna pick one up, now's the time to do it. I'd like to thank the whole Kawasaki team not only the race effort, I'm watching Adam Cincerello and Jason Anderson out here, but also <clears throat> the PR side, Brad, Megan, Mike, Aaron, Derek. Thank you so much for the opportunity to ride this bike and be a factory rider for the day. Opportunities like this don't come around very often and I'm definitely grateful for it. All in all, we spent about an hour and a half more on this bike, blew it up the header just a little bit more. It's so fun to be able to ride the closest thing on the showrooms to a full race bike. Lined up next to the big number nine and big 21 amazing day. As always, thank you for watching. Check out DirtRider.com for more updates. We'll see you on the next one.